Does he hit her in the face? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with his, yeah, with his boner. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing British advertisements. Now, controversial British advertisements. You have to do air quotes for that because yeah. apparently, what is controversial for us is not really controversial for Brits. Okay? Yeah, because a previous video we did, we were doing the uh, some of the most offensive British comedy. Yes, and, and I was that my yeah, pearls. some of that shit was like whoa. Yeah, and they in in the comment section, y'all were telling us. That, oh, this is normal. Yeah. This is normal British that humor. That was mild. Right. So we wouldn't last a day. Right. Nah. <laughs> Not how y'all roll. So we're going to be offended. Just let's go ahead and Maybe. get that out Maybe. I there. mean, <laughs> we don't know. So we're going to go ahead and check these out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And give our thoughts. And uh, we'll just see how they compare to American commercials. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, what is that? Nothing. Tom, have you got the pot noodle hall? Of course not. Let me see. See it. Oh. Get off me, maniac! Oh! <laughs> okay, I have got the pot noodle hall. It's big and brassy, and I'm going to blow it. Tom! No time for chit chat, baby. My pot noodle horn is angry like a snake. Hell no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, mate, we all get the pot noodle horn sometimes. Have you got the pot noodle horn? Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So after, it was like. <clears throat> It was just like like the Snicker bar commercials, yeah. Where like when they're you're they're, hangry, yeah, they're hungry and or they get hangry and then you know in this case he had like a pot noodle boner, <laughs> and then after he ate like the pot noodle soup, then the boner was gone. <laughs> that was funny. That's little girl. It says little girl phones well, for you. Negative three. Seven hundred complaints. Oh no, yeah. the previous one right. had a different amount. This is dog breath. Okay. That one wasn't really nah. that bad. It wasn't bad at all. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, that's like Marley. <laughs> well, he had dog breath. You're right. His right. Breath yeah. was His breath funky. was funky. <laughs> Excite. Why don't you brush your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> that Look. wasn't that wasn't that bad. Department of Health, seven hundred and seventy four complaints. Cool. Fine. Brilliant. Alright, I'll see you on the uh, on the ninth. Okay, bye. <laughs> The average smoker needs over 5,000 cigarettes a year. <laughs> get unhooked. Call 0800 169 0169 or visit getunhooked.co.uk. I think it offended smokers. Really? I think it offended smokers. I, I don't find it offensive, but nah, or it's, controversial. It, it definitely grabs your attention. It right, just made yeah. me think about those fish. Right. When we went fishing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you snagged him and it got near his eyeball. Yeah, yeah, and he was like, help me. Right, aw. And I didn't want to go fishing again. Yeah. So. That commercial wasn't that bad. Because, I mean, for people who are addicted to cigarettes, they do talk about how addicting they are. And it looked like he was hooked. I thought it was going to be like, you know, he... It, the hook dragged him outside, mm -hmm. and then he went to go smoke crack or something. <laughs> <laughs> now, that would have been controversial. <laughs> it been like, just say no. <laughs> Break the Cycle, Bernardo's 2008. 840 complaints. Uh, they've 
let you out again if they you worthlessly. Oh. oh. Come on in. Check the fridge. I don't know what it says, all right? You okay? Here, here, 20 quid. Oh. You worthless little cow. Oh. I don't know what it says. Here, 20 quid. Worthless little cow. I don't know what it says. Here, 20 quid. Worthless. It says 20 quid. Worthless. It says 20 quid. Yikes. All right. So funny enough, we were just talking about the previous commercial hook, and then the next commercial is a drug commercial. Yeah. Which that was kind of. Like, so it seems like she was getting abused at home. Yeah. And then. She couldn't focus. Maybe she had d dyslexia and couldn't make Read, out the yeah. words. Yeah. Um, she was hooked on drugs. And so she turned to drugs. Yeah, yeah. And then she needed money for drugs and ended up robbing and mugging someone. And then she went to jail. Yeah, right. So, and it just it was like a repeating cycle. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I mean, I think the slap on the head and... Um, that might have been it, a little too much for ooh, a commercial. It, it made it hard to watch, but I think yeah. they were just trying to get, get the people's message. attention and mm -hmm. get the message across. And I think the fact that they kept playing it over, over and, and over, over again, again probably really disturbed some people, mm -hmm. but um, it can get the message across, you yeah. know? So, yeah. yeah. Trigger warning. Yeah. Bedtime, Bedtime story. story. Act on CO2. Hmm. There was once a land where the weather was very, very strange. There were awful heat waves in some parts, and in others, terrible storms and floods. Scientists said it was being caused by too much CO2, which went up into the sky when the grown ups used energy. They said the CO2 was getting dangerous. Its effects were happening faster than they had thought. Some places could even disappear under the sea and it was the children of the land who'd have to live with the horrible consequences. The grown-ups realized they had to do something. They discovered that over 40% of the CO2 was coming from ordinary everyday things like keeping houses warm and driving cars, which meant if they made less CO2, maybe they could save the land for the children. Is there a happy ending? <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime story. I, I think using it as a bedtime story right, was yeah. a great idea, but then they didn't provide any solutions because you're saying people are using um, CO2 to warm their homes and drive cars to get to work, but not offer any solutions, but stop using it. So stop driving your car, stop heating up your house. Well, it was it was like a bedtime story for for adults. So that I guess they can talk to their politicians about climate change. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm getting from but it. it didn't no, give they they any they never give any kind of so solutions, solutions for for the, those kind of commercials. So just stop going to work, driving yeah. your car, stop taking your kids. You remember to school, back in the be day, be cold in the house. Not, well, remember back in the day, they used to tell us not to use aerosol. Mm -hmm. They would say stop using aerosol sprays in your house. Yeah, and I was sitting there thinking, like, what, like, what the fuck? There's these factories out there that is pumping out sulfur dioxide and a bunch of shit Polluting out into the, the water. Yeah, and y'all telling me to stop using aerosol spray? You know, yeah. man, get out of here. Anyway, let's keep going. Engineer Volkswagen, 2008. Ooh, 1,070 complaints. A little bit more complaints. Herein. Ich singe 1, 2, 3, 4. Ich singe keine Melodien. 
Ich singe 1, 2, 3, 4. Ich singe keine Melodien. Ich singe 1, 2, 3, 4. Sometimes, the only one you have to beat is yourself. I like that commercial. Oh. Eins, zwei, drei. Das Atto. All right, so that wasn't really that, was that bad. But I can see why it may have been controversial because of the fighting. And we kind of live in a day and age of where people see, like, they when they see something on TV, they'll try to duplicate it, so... And that's why you have to tell idiots don't try this at home. Exactly. I right. mean, it's just like a movie. Right. It would have been it would have been fine if they probably would have said professional actors don't do this. Why 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 would you Peop have to say something like that? I felt like this commercial was I awesome. thought it was good too, but it was very entertaining. People are stupid. And you'd be surprised how many people would say, see this and then go pick up a brake rotor and a, a a muffler and you know, play Mortal Kombat with each other. So but, the people who called but in not, were but not too bad. Not, not. I too thought it was great. Right. People who called in were idiots. Jenny Evans is late. Katie Simmons is late. If you're late for your period, you could be oh. pregnant. What if you're hell? pregnant and not sure what to do. Mari Stopes International can help. <laughs> I thought they was late to go to no. work or school or I, something like that. I got, I got immediately. With, right, I got what they were talking oh. about. I kind of picked it up because I was like, "Oh, this is probably going to be a twist," because it, it made it seem like she was late at, at the bus stop. Yeah, but then it was like, "Nah, she's probably late on her period." But then the other thing is, who is Mary Stopes? Are are, are, they, are they like an abortion clinic or something like that? Because that that would oh. make this controversial. Because she said she was like she was like if you're late and you don't know what to do, like we gotta find out who who Mary Stokes International is. can help. You're talking about if you don't what know to what do. to do, we if can help. If you're late for your period, you she, could be pregnant. I mean, she had the if you're pregnant shop, and not sure what to do, she ate her whole plate Mary with a muffin and coffee, right. but she's still stressed. Right. Yeah. Man, well, I mean, because you oh know, my god! Look, she's thinking. She this don't, muffin. She don't is know what, Delicious. She doesn't know this what to cappuccino. do. Uh, Babe, I'm late. she don't look like that. It's I'm more late. like it's if a, I, if I'm that depressed, I'm not going to a coffee shop eating muffins and coffee. Well, for some people, when they get depressed, they eat. But it's like they could be contemplating an abortion. I think maybe that's what the commercial was about. I maybe mean, I get that, it. and that's why it would be controversial. I mean, I get it, but I I I, I get it. Okay? okay, I get it. Could be I pregnant. Like it. If stupid. you're pregnant and not sure what to do, <laughs> okay. Mari Stopes International can so, help. Yeah, we can help you. We'll <laughs> tell you what to do. Coat hangers. Coat hangers. <laughs> For free. <laughs> Are Damn. you late? I like to work. Blind football, Patty Power, complaints, 1300. That's funny. When they were think it said football, I was thinking NFL. I forgot it was soccer. Oh, oh no, Kenny. He kicked the cat. Patty Power can't get Tittles back. There's nothing <laughs> we can do about that. But we can get you your money back with our money back specials. <laughs> Check them out before you bet at pattypower.com. Now that is hilarious. <laughs> but I can see who would be upset at that. And that would probably be Peter. like PETA. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Animal lovers. I'm an animal lover. Yeah, if you're a cat person, you might be the cat. Mouthful. Oh, 
punch seven. It's the Sue's Hasty. Now you talk with your mouth full. Right, yeah. I, like. So it's. How is that controversial? Um, I How guess do you it's think it was polite. controversial? It's not polite. Yeah, but it's a commercial. And they're their not doing. And they're emergency. Line, so. Oh, okay, I see. I, I don't know. I, I think the most offensive thing about this commercial is that they're eating KFC. We, <laughs> we were, were talking, about talking about that about the other day. We were asking, like, when's the last time you had KFC? It's been 20 years. Yeah, it's been, like, so long because <laughs> the, the <laughs> KFC ain't KFC no more. It's disgusting. Yeah, exactly. They lab but this was chicken. 2005, so yeah. Right, yeah. So, guys, uh, yeah, this was actually pretty tame. I was I was expecting something a little bit more hardcore, yeah. but I can understand why some of these were commercial, uh, controversial. I think the most controversial out of here was the uh, the the drug girl. This one right here, the mm-hmm. psych break the cycle, mm-hmm. um, because I do think that, like, especially today, they wouldn't show something like this, especially the way they edited. It's it. like you don't have to show her keep getting hit. Right. And yeah. And. Um, <laughs> Pretty strong out on drugs. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> and, and then you just keep playing it. I think the first one was the most controversial one for me. Oh, uh, which one was that? The horn the, in his pants. Oh, the pot. pot, <laughs> horn dog. pot. Guys. Does he hit her in the face? Oh, yeah, his, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with, with his boner. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I, I think that would be like a close second. Because I, I get the joke, but then it's like. Showing this on TV, yeah, you know, yeah. that <laughs> that's pretty funny. All right, all let right, us well, know guys, your yeah, favorite one in the comment section down below, <laughs> and let us know what we should react to next. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in our next video. All right, y'all, see y'all later. Ta ta.